fights at Daytona Speedway in the Truck Series. And there are special rules for this race. This race been kind of catching on around YouTube and stuff. If you haven't seen the races, head over to there. But here are the rules for this race. There will be no tandem running in this race at all. You will not push the leader. You can tandem up to the leader, but once you get to the first position, you must back off the leader and not push him through the turns. We do not want the lead pack getting away. This is called pack rules racing. Uh, when we hit lap number 60, uh, all bets are off and everything is on the table. You can push and you can, if the yellow flag comes out, the racers will race through it to the end for the last two laps. There will be no yellow thrown on the last two laps. But this is to encourage pack racing at the super speedways. And all the drivers have been read the instructions and understand them. Any violators of the rules will be immediately disqualified. But let's see how many trucks we're going to have as the 16 of Ronnie Sinsney. Sinsney in the last mystery race as well. He is going to take the pole here tonight. Under the lights at Daytona Live on Norgar TV. How many trucks do we have in the starting order? Qualifying trucks. 31 qualifying trucks and then we have all the way to 43 who did not qualify. So I don't know if the admins are going to let them in or not. Um, I'm imagining they will. So. We will see after lap number one. We will check the uh, scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, this may be an absolute Norgar TV first. We have never, at the start of a race, had 43 drivers take the green flag. It looks like we may end up breaking that record here tonight. Keep your fingers crossed. I hope it happens. Uh, it's going to be tough to tell who takes the green flag, who doesn't. But we'll see after lap number one. Thank you very much there, Mr. Beach. And, hey, I see Shark. Shark, two-time champ of Norgar TV Racing League in the crowd tonight. Hello, Shark. How you doing there in the chat? Good to see you, buddy. You should be out here, but I'm, you may have not been able to get in. Apparently, it's been full for about a half an hour or so. Uh, good to see you, though, in the chat. A lot of trucks out here as the pace car is going to get ready to peel off. We're going to do some super duper green flag bumper up in here at Norgar TV. Live green at Daytona. Green, green, green. Sinsney leads them around. Here we go. Pack racing rules. Live on Norgar TV mystery race. No tandems out front will be allowed. Coming through turn number one, everybody trying to settle up. 21 dives to the outside, leaves the 16 down below by himself. But that spot's going to be sucked up by the yellow truck coming down the back stretch. We have one truck headed to the back. This may be a piece of uh, strategy. <clears throat> Some of these drivers, we're only going to get two resets here tonight. Some of these drivers may be heading to the back to try to ride out the storm for the inevitable big one. We all know what's gonna happen. It's just a question of when. New leader. The 21 has taken the lead. Matt LaCrosse out in front of the 48 truck, the 48 truck. McCauley, they're going to take the lead on the inside. As you can see, the 48 truck not up underneath the leader right now. No pushing involved. As you see, the outside lane making a move with Mr. Beach there in the 22. Run in the middle lane, coming down the front stretch. He's going to get a push from the three. And now Beach out to the front. The three will have to back off. And then we have another new leader. 
Lead change number three of the night already here on lap number three. Here they come down the back stretch to 21. Got the run on the outside. Three giving him a push. And he will fall into the lead in front of Beach. Lead change number four back to the 21. Coming down the front stretch. Everybody looking and searching. The three on the outside getting a push from the old... Uh, what is that? Oh, chapstick truck, chapstick truck. Say that 10 times real fast. The 32, they're getting a push from the three, but the 21 getting quite the lunge out in front. That's gonna give the 22 and the 48 a good run coming down the back stretch to get on the back bumper of the 21. But the 31, or the 32 and the three on the outside gonna motor by. Now the question is, is the three gonna drop down and dump off the 32? They're not gonna be able to do it because the 21 picked up by Beach. They're in the 22 in that blue uh, blue truck, blue and yellow vehicle there in second position, right, and right behind the leader. He's gonna suck up the spot. Big battle going on. Look at this all the way back through the field. Look at all the trucks out on the field. Let's take a look. At our uh, our starting grid now. Oh, we got problems. Let's take a look at the starting grid. The three on the outside again of the 21. Thirty-one trucks take the starting grid. So not even close to being full. Don't know what happened in the last eight. There were some people waiting to get into the race, but they're not going to make it because some people get in and don't do anything. Oh, we got a problem. The 31 caution, is around. Caution, trouble, caution. trouble, trouble. The 31. Guys, just quickly, just remember. Uh, nice and smooth. Camera man on the track. Stay by those bands. Do what you can to keep cool. Oh, uh, let's rewind that. The 31 being driven by uh, Mike Rutherford. Rutherford getting into trouble coming out of turn number four. They're in the 31 in the middle lane. Comes down. The 31 gives him all the room he can, and the 31 nowhere to go. Flips him around, and that's going to cause a big cluster truck right behind these guys. We're going to have about uh, eight or nine guys involved in this. They are going to get a free reset. Will they be able to get their trucks down to pit lane? So it shouldn't be too bad. Just a little band-aid there. But right now, they're in chat. Let's take some viewer questions. Pace laps agonizing long here at Daytona. We need to fill all the time we can. So let's go to the viewers uh, live in chat. And there's 20 plus of you there. And if you haven't logged in and logged into the chat, please do get involved in the conversation. But let's take some viewer questions right now for some of the drivers as we roll under caution on lap number six. You see a lot of the trucks are not going to come down. They're going to want to save their resets. Beach in the 22 comes down. The 21 truck, Lacrosse, going to be your leader. You can tandem, you can bump all the way up to the lead. However, you cannot, once you get to the lead, you got to stop. You cannot uh, get on the back of the leader and run away with it. Once you're on the leader, whoever's in first pay, place, you got to back off of them. That, that, those are the rules for the first 60 laps. After that, all bets are off. You can do whatever you want, and there will be no more caution flags. So we are on caution flag number one. Lap number seven. Hi, Mike Rutherford, son. He's 
drivers, we're still all single file. Ask him something funny. It doesn't have to be NASCAR related. I mean, let's do something funny. Let's do something the drivers won't it expect. Only, guys. And we'll play Norgar Roulette to get to the driver we're going to ask this question. Uh, yeah, there was quite a few of them laying back. Norgar Roulette, here we go. Do not adjust your set. We're just going a little crazy here. The 65, uh, Brian Rump. Driving in position number seven, he will be the winner of Norgar Roulette. <clears throat> Driving the Playboy truck. Good man, good man. Let's see if we can get a word in with uh, Rump. Oh, come on, Brain, you can do better than that. Uh, Twitch TV screws up a lot of times, and sometimes it works. Even if you don't go through the app and you just go through the internet browser on the phone, it still don't work. Yeah. You gotta be on a computer to actually watch it. Sometimes it works on the phone, though. Oh, I watched the last one on the phone. Uh, and usually the phone, if you keep refreshing it, like go out and go back in it, it usually picks itself. Number 65 truck, this is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Yeah, again. Yeah, I got a copy. We have a viewer question from Brain Freeze 88 in chat, watching you here live on Norgar TV, and his question is, "What, uh, what is your favorite playmate? Or who is your favorite playmate? Sorry." My uh, favorite playmate is uh, Miss December. <laughs> Does Miss December have a name, or does not? Does it not matter? Doesn't matter. Good answer. Thank you very much. How's your truck running? Uh, you got quite a few uh, laps under green there. What do you think of this uh, no pushing racing going on up front? Well, I like the no pushing racing. Um, we have a lot of laps to go here, so we're just ready to settle in and uh, get some laps under our belt and get ready for the last five laps. All right. Uh, thank you very much for talking to us, and thanks very much for uh, Miss December, I guess. Thanks. Can't really just pick one. They're all good. Uh Kendra Wilkinson. Yeah, she's a good one. She's a good one. Although she isn't she divorced now. There, there's the front of his truck right there. Brian Rump coming down live in the front of the Playboy Chevy Silverado Logitech Taco Bell Pizza Hut McDonald's Burger King Subway Big Boy White Castle Chevrolet truck. There he is. Trucks are all doubled up. We're going to be, ah, my medication. Trucks are all doubled up. We're going to be going green this time by. We are running the lucky dog here. The 21. Matt LaCrosse still leads him around with the three of Eric Sable on the outside. Eric Sable, Norgar TV League member. They're on the outside. The 32 is going to be starting right behind the 21. Green flag racing again here on lap number 10. Pack racing rules here live on Norgar TV Mystery Race. Guess what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to go bumper flag, hopping again. Green flag. Green
green, green, green. Bumper humping time on Norgar TV as these guys are going to try to push each other to the front and then have to stop. That are Those are the rules. A lot of trucks out on the track tonight trying to find the right groove. Mostly going on two groove racing so far. We haven't seen a whole lot of three wide just as of yet. But as these guys settle in and get comfortable with one another, I promise you it is going to happen if not four wide. Down the front stretch, the 21 still in the lead, but Sable on the outside getting pushed. They're doubled up up front. They don't. They have to push now because nobody has the definite lead. So they're going to continue to push. There, the 21 will take it again, and the three will have to back off. As we fall back through the field, two by two, ladies and gentlemen, look at all those trucks, two by two, all the way back. We got some guys laying back. This definitely could be a strategy. As we see some of the unknown on the tail, let's go on board with uh, the 30. Yeah, let's go on board with the 88. Three wide, there we go, three wide, through turns one and two. The 34 getting pushed up high. He's going to be stuck up there for a while. Let's fall back. Let's go on board with uh, the 22, Mr. Beach. He came up twice, so here we go. Here's a lap around Daytona Speedway under the lights with 40 trucks out on the track. No pushing allowed up front. Everybody's going to be all bottled up. It is a 190 mile an hour run down the highway to go get a sack of groceries coming down the front stretch. Hitting the stripe at nearly, there's 198 miles an hour in the draft. 200 miles an hour in the draft, but ladies and gentlemen, these trucks are going. Beach here stuck on the outside. Not sure this is where one of Beach go, wants to be, but he just riding now. As you see, the lower line, which is traditionally quicker around this joint, the lower line seems to be working. They got trouble up front. The one truck getting out of shape, but he saves it. The Canary Yellow, number one. Oh, and we got turnage. Call. We got Crush. spillage. We got crashage. We got we the big got one. A very, very difficult official this oh, week. We'll make sure we're no. finding our views and cues. Look at all the trucks all over the infield. It is truck again, ladies and gentlemen. Truck again, strikes again at Daytona Speedway under the lights. I don't know what I'm going to do. There's like 27 trucks involved in that wreck. Let's take a look at it again in instant replay. I got a black flag. I slipped to the pit during the wreck. All right, we'll wave you. 65, they're getting the worst of it. There's a 65. Ryan Rump, who we spoke to earlier, driving the Playboy machine. See what happens here. The 21 up front, Sable leading them around, goes to the high side, 32 down low, and there you see the 48, the green truck in the 16. The 20's pushing the 16, and the 48 just, yeah, it all started there with the 48. Just everybody on the throttle. Really just a racing incident there. And here comes the chaos. Here comes the yeah. truck again. Automotive intercourse happening right in front of your eyes. Norgard TV bumper hump and caution flag number two of the night. Chain reaction at Daytona. Speedway under the lights brings out caution flag number two. Let's take one more look at it from the above point of view as these drivers, some of them making pit stops. 
Let's go on board. Let's ride with the 48. William McCauley. Now I got to pass it under the yellow. I don't know what that's about. Let's go to the chopper view. Let's take a look at it from chopper six. Chopper six images being brought to you. Guy drinking beer. Hey, the 16 and the 48. The 48 gets into the 21. Just nowhere to go. Just everybody on the throttle and... That's going to send them around and wrecking, 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 wrecking some more, wrecking some more. The 8 to 26, the 31, the 72, the 34, the 31, the double O, the 51, the, uh, the 54, the 11, they all get involved. Absolutely chaos and mayhem. Breaks out. But these guys are probably going to get use of their free truck down on pit road. Every you should see everybody. Everybody's getting two free restarts. This is the second caution flag. Some guys after the next caution won't be able to uh, won't be able to do anything. Because after about this, they're done. So let's try to talk to Eric Sable. We have some questions in chat. I'd like to see some more. If you pass before you get pit road, you have black flag. Well, if you guys are going to speak up and tell me about the penalties, then I'm not going to waive them. So, okay. I'll just serve mine. Okay. Three truck, Eric Sable. This is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Got you. Well, you're up at first. It's lap 16 of 62. What's that mean to you? I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't mean much. I think the real racing is going to be in that last five laps. You know, everybody's just a little mellow right at the moment. Uh, all the truck drivers seem to be doing really, really well considering the size of the field tonight. Um, have you noticed anybody, uh, well, you're up front, but uh, earlier on in the race, anybody heading to the back and going to try to ride out the storm in the back? I don't know as many people. I'd rather just stay up front than be in the back. That's just my opinion, but, uh, yeah. We're coming with. Um, last question we have from Brain Freeze in chat live on Norgar TV, and he asks, um, would you rather spend life in prison or be executed? Uh, um, life in prison, I guess. Could you explain? Uh, uh, could you please explain to us why? I'd rather live than be dead. I don't care where I am. All right. Well, I thank you for the interview, and the taxpayers thank you for being a burden on them for the rest of your life. But have fun in uh, leading this race right now up front, and uh, thanks for talking to us, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you. What a freaking retard! The pieces. Why, thank you. That was really mean. That was awesome. I'm not sure what that was. That was the best compliment I've ever gotten. And uh, slam on the brakes and spun. What? It's the one in the middle between the clutch and the black. Yeah. Wow. We got, some, we got some heated conversation going on, ladies and gentlemen. And we're still under caution here. Caution flag number two. And let's go let's go down and eavesdrop in on the drivers. I don't know exactly what's going on here. And maybe we can get another question in chat. We can uh, play some more Norgar roulette. Lights on the pace car are off, however, though. We, they will be going green next time. Bye.
That's a good question. All right, green flag racing again. We got a long way to go here, ladies and gentlemen, here on live on Norgard TV tonight. Mystery race special edition. Pack racing rules. So if you are new here at pack racing rules, uh, these guys, once you get to the lead, no more pushing. That's it. They let the rest of the field catch up. You cannot push until the last few laps of the race. And even after that, the caution flag does come out. The guys will continue to race. Uh, the very first race we uh, had with these rules was a tremendous hit. And uh, on a side note, I would like to uh, add that uh, that inaugural race with these rules, uh, yours truly came home with the checkered flag. Thank you very much. You came home with the win. So, trying her here again. This time green at flag, Daytona. Green flag. Bumper hump in time again. Uh, green, green, green. These guys going to double up as soon as possible and run two by two as many deep as they can. Sable in the three down on the inside. Canary yellow number one. Creeps his way up to second position with Beach there in the 22. All right behind them. Coming down the back stretch. Inside line still got, whoa, getting out of shape just a little bit. A lot of guys not being able to handle the draft and hold their line. These trucks will overheat after about four laps if you are pushing. Uh, that's the other thing that uh, these rules are trying to help with. They're trying to prevent the overheating. As you see, the three going to lose two positions to the leader, new leaders. Another lead change here tonight on Norgar TV. I believe that's lead change number six of the night. According to ah, uh, my count right there, right now, Holt in the 32. On the inside, but the 51 running down the back stretch, being pushed by the 40 and the 65. The 14 not quite tucked up underneath there. The three back to sixth position. Two by two, 10 deep ball oh, coming through turn number three. We got a truck in the wall, and this is going to cause a huge cluster truck of problems. Oh, no. I know, man. Oh, I think no. I like an eight to limit on. Sliding across the infield, across the front stretch. There's trucks everywhere. I don't know. They're still wrecking. Holy hell, in a handbasket. We got a lot of wrecked race trucks out there right now. Some guys not going to be able to get new trucks. We're going to see a lot of guys going to have to take their trucks behind the wall. But holy hell, let's take a rewindage and see what all this bullshit happened. Came coming down the uh, coming out of turn number four. Let's go. Let's ride with the 22 of Mr. Beach rear view. There we go. Let's see what happens here. He's riding behind the one. This is about six position looking back. And they're wrecking in front of him. Lots of wrecking in front of him. So let's... Uh, 65 maybe. I don't know. Chopper view, please. Thank you very much. Let's jump up a few spots up here and slow-mo it. There, the 65 gets loose. Wow, all by himself, too? Nah, he was trying to avoid the... Ah, here's what's going on. He's trying to avoid the 40. The 40 truck there that's in the wall right there. Oh, Hobbit truck. We're going to give you some time. See the 65, and he just... He gets loose, just plain and simple, the 65. Hello, 65, Brian Rump. Not really anywhere for him to go. The 40 was up there, and that's going to be a big mess. The Playboy truck in trouble again. The 16 truck, airborne. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, 16 truck. What a horrible ride for the 16 truck. Let's go on board with the 16. 
and Dave go to his uh, in-car view. Since knee. Real time, ladies and gentlemen, real time. That screenshot may make Facebook. That was pretty cool. Wreck number three, caution flag number three of the night here. We're going to go back up live. Since the going to need more work done to his vehicle. But he is back out on the track. Let's head back up to the front. Ah, oh, so madness, mayhem have struck again here at Daytona under the lights. Lap number 21, we are under caution flag number three, but your new leader is going to be the 51 of Kevin Sousa. And I want to take a look at this Hobbit truck. People that know me know that I'm a pretty big Lord of the Ring fan, so I'd like to see this Hobbit, 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 Hobbit chapstick vehicle driven by the number 32 of Alex Holt. Can't really see the back too well there. The Hobbit, ah! out in theaters in a couple of weeks. Can't see shit. Thank, thanks for the great views. Uh, anyway, that's the Hobbit truck. But the 51, Kevin Sousa, your leader. Uh, do we have any more questions? Yes, we do. Fifty-one truck. This is Norgar in the booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I got you. Okay, we have a couple of questions from the viewers now, and I'm just going to go uh, down through them. The first one is, uh, uh, how many of the drivers, percentage-wise, do you think in iRacing use a wheel versus a game pad or something else? I'd like to say uh, probably a majority, close to 80 85% use a wheel. And then you get that one or two, probably a race that has a game pad. But I would say at least 80 to 85% have the wheel. Do you think people who uh, use a game pad are at an advantage or a disadvantage over people who use a wheel? Well, I used to use the pad in the, you know, NASCAR 2003, and I didn't like it. Um, you know, it could be an advantage. It all depends on how you are. I I like the wheel more. I like to be able to feel like I'm in more control. Guys, everybody to the inside. Let the uh, lap car pass. Coming high, go low. Coming high, go low. All right. One more quick question that was in chat by uh, Work Now. Work Now asks, uh, do you think the rest of the pack would drive faster if the pace car was chasing them? <laughs> I don't know if they drive faster. They may be drive smarter, but the way it's going, you know, probably not. I know it scares the crap out of people when the caution comes out and the pace car goes right through them, but I'm pretty sure that these cars might be a little faster than this Ford Mustang. Fords aren't that fast to begin with. Well, uh, there may be some drivers out there that may want to test that theory in a couple months when iRacing comes out with their new build. But uh, thank you very much for talking to us uh, here tonight as you get ready to go uh, green. Everybody on Norgar TV, thanks you, and good luck to you and all the drivers. Thank you. I do like how the new Ford looks, though. I'll get on that. It does look pretty awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, under caution, flag number three, lap number 23. We're going to be going green next time by. We'll take some more serious questions uh, there live in Norgar TV chat. Always wanting to ask the uh, 
these um, these pace laps. Uh, the the other thing you can do during these pace laps is you know well we'll get there next time because I'm sure there's going to be another one. But here we are back getting ready to go green under the lights at Daytona in this pack racing rules extravaganza. The 51 going to be leading them down with the 32 on the outside, the 14 and the 40 in hot pursuit. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm in hot pursuit, good buddy, says Roscoe Pico train from the Dukes of Smazzard. Pace car is going to be ducking off. There he goes. Time to go bumper humping again Green as flag. the Hobbit on the outside looking to run his way up above. The 51, he's not going to get it on the start, but the 51 gets a good, decent start. He's got the 14 pushing him a little bit. The 32 on the outside, going to need help from the number 40. Coming down into turn number one, <coughs> 32 going to end up losing some spots. The number one truck, a lot of damage to the left rear of the one. That's got to be hurting his aerodynamics as he comes down the back stretch in the draft. At almost 200 miles an hour, uh, there's going to be a dead pocket of air, and anybody's going to be able to get that one truck loose. All they're going to have to do is ride right behind him, and he is going to be loose, loose, loose with all that damage on the. I'm sorry, that is the uh, left rear, the left rear. That's going to make him loose. Right would make him tight. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's how we work here at Norgar TV. As we see the truck starting to get three wide. In this pack racing edition special of Norgar TV Mystery Race here on lap number 25 of 62. Long way to go here at Daytona under the lights as the 51 continues to lead them around, not being allowed to be pushed by the number 14. However, the 48 and the 32, they can push all they want, and so can everybody else behind them as we see... Uh, two packs going on right now, a big pack, a smaller pack, and then we have a couple of dribblers behind. So we got three packs of trucks racing tonight here at Daytona right now on lap number 25. These laps uh, 2.5 miles around this uh, banked, banked, banked place here at Daytona. Coming down the front stretch, the Hobbit to the inside. He's shuffling, looking for his magic weed. He's not going to be able to get, get it down in turn one. He's going to lose two spots. The 48, your new leader, lead change number seven of the night. Here as the 51 falls in behind the 48, coming out of turn number two. Down the back stretch, the 32 on the inside, looking to try to push. He goes to the middle there, four wide, four wide, coming down the back stretch. The four wide, three deep. This is, oh my, that's whack. Uh, they all back off and double back up. Thank God for that. We could have had a big problem with that coming into turn three and four. But these guys should be tripling up sometime soon. That outside lane is typically breaks off toward the back. And you'll see the middle lane start to pick up later on in the race where people get more anxious. Right now, these drivers just trying to settle in in the 32. The Hobbit takes the lead. Gets the lead over the 48, coming down. Forty-eight ducks down to the bottom, crosses from the top line to retake the lead from the 32. Lead change number nine here tonight at Norgar TV. I probably can't count. I'm trying to keep track, but we're doing the best we can here. The Hobbit back out on the outside. Coming down the front stretch, pack racing rules. Lap number 28 of this 62 lap race. Here, let's go. Let's fall further back in the field. Let's get a point of view. One of these drivers. As we see, sitting on the back stretch stands. Nobody back here at all. You have the whole back stretch to yourselves, Norgar TV, as they come down into three and four. We want to see. Oh, we got somebody out of shape. Somebody's out of shape. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Trouble. Oh, no, that's going to bring out the caution flag. Oh, no. Make sure you're getting yourself something to drink there, buddy. Oh, and the 88 can't get slowed up and dies. He hits the wall at 185 miles an hour, trying to slow up for these guys. Here comes the rest of the field through there. 
Let's take a look and see what happens. Lights on the pace car go on right there. So the wreck has already happened. There, There's the wreck right here. Let's rewind it. Not sure who got into what or what happened, but there was a cluster truck of mess going on. They start getting out of shape coming down the front stretch. What's that? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go in slow-mo. Yeah, there is the uh, 65, Brian Rump in the Playboy, the 30 on the outside. The 30 gets loose. 30 gets loose right into the 34. You can do everything wrong and still win. Uh, the 30 truck. Now when your car's in and in on all sides. 30 truck being driven by. There, see, they're three wide, and he starts getting loose. Jake Barry, Jake Barry in the 30 up top. Gets loose here on lap number 28 to bring out caution flag number four of the night of this pack rules only extravaganza here live on Norgar TV Mystery Race. Here is a look at your wreck all over again. 30 gets loose, comes down, and everybody else is pretty much screwed. There's just nothing they can do. You can't, it's so hard to react. You're going 200 miles an hour and you're driving an inch off the guy's bumper in front of you. Uh, there's just no time to react. And you'll see this kind of speeds that they were carrying, how far they slide. And just running in, it doesn't look like, I mean, they're still doing about 90 miles an hour, still sliding. And uh, I don't know, the last time I hit something at 90 miles an hour, which was never, uh, I think it, you know, it would have hurt. So some of these trucks going to have to come down to pit road and hope they can get it fixed and get back, uh, get back out there. You see the 86 of Brantley, your new leader though, the 32 truck of Alex Holt, Alex Holt driving the Hobbit question, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the man is driving a car with the Hobbit on it. We need some good viewer questions. Get them in chat right now. Come up with any Hobbit joke you can come up with, but let, I mean, he's driving the Hobbit truck. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. I'm going to go get a beer while you submit your questions, and we'll be right back to talk to the drivers. Thank you. Everybody, 